A few days back, we heard rumors that NVIDIA might be preparing a GeForce GTX 1070 Ti graphics card to compete directly with AMD's RX Vega 56. Now, this isn't the first time that we've heard rumors about NVIDIA possibly coming out with a slightly faster version of an existing card to counter a newly released Radeon product. These rumors are in fact a fairly common occurrence and occasionally they end up being fairly accurate. The alleged specifications of NVIDIA's rumored GTX 1070 Ti have surfaced and if they're anything to go by, we might be looking at a card that's incredibly close to the GTX 1080 in terms of performance. The source alleges that the GTX 1070 Ti will feature the same GP104 GPU found in the GTX 1080 and 1070 graphics cards. The particular version that it will leverage, however, is much closer to that of the GP104-400 GPU found in the GTX 1080. The card will allegedly pack 2,432 CUDA cores and 152 texture mapping units, and that's just 128 CUDA cores and 12 TMU SHA of the GTX 1080. In terms of clock speeds, the card will supposedly feature a core clock of 1,607 MHz with a boost clock of 1,683 MHz. Now that's the same core clock as the GTX 1080 and the same boost clock as the GTX 1070. The most significant difference between the GTX 1070 Ti and the GTX 1080 will be the fact that it will supposedly make use of the standard 8 gigabits per second GDDR5 rather than the 11 gigabits per second GDDR5X memory that the 1080 utilizes. The source goes further to claim that the GTX 1070 Ti will land sometime around Halloween and will cost around 70 bucks less than the GTX 1080. And that would put its MSRP right around $429, which is what most GTX 1070s go for right now due to the ongoing GPU inflation. As always, take this rumor with a grain of sodium chloride. Now, if you found this video informative or entertaining at the least, feel free to leave a like and a subscribe. And if you have anything you'd like to add to the discussion, feel free to leave a comment. We'd love to hear what you have to think about this one. And like always, this has been Keith with WCCF Tech TV, and we'll catch you all in the next video.